Good morning. Here I am setting back again, realizing when I set back, you don't see this as much. You don't see all the little wrinkles in my face. And besides, I have lipstick on. I did a good job this morning. Now, I want to get right down to business because this has to be short. I had a gal write and ask me if I would speak on uh, Christianity and bullying and how people judge other people's Christianities. And yes, I would love to. What a good topic that is. You know, the first thing I want to do is put scripture to it. The word says that we will draw others to repentance. God working through us will draw others to repentance. So if you don't allow God to work through you, you are not going to be a witness for Christianity. And God would not judge others by their Christian walk. The, you know, there's one thing, I always love this, E.V. Hill said it years ago. It was, are they lifting up the name of Jesus? Because if they are lifting up the name of Jesus, they are brothers and sisters in the Lord. No matter what religion they belong to, no matter what faith they call themselves, if they're lifting up the name of Jesus, they are brothers and sisters in the Lord. And it says you will know them because they love the brethren. If you aren't loving your brethren, something's wrong with your walk. You have a walk that's out of order. You know, I just can't hardly abide by Christians who judge other churches. I find that so immature and ungodly. Anything that's done for God is to be respected. And when you come against people that are in other churches, you are coming against God himself. You know, this bu cyber bull this bullying, I mean, it is, it's bullying. It's like, well, you know, you have doctrine, you have some doctrine I don't agree with. Well, you know what? Too bad. God is faithful to finish the work he has started in every one of us. And if you're one of those ones that beat people over the head with the Bible, you are out of order. That is not how you do it. You do everything in loving kindness. You draw people to you through the love of God, not by this know-it-all. Sometimes, you know, people join Christian, the Christian walk to throw their weight around. This is not how you do it. You do it in love. You know, this doctrine thing, I just have a problem with it. Well, their doctrine is out of order. I mean, look. God is faithful to finish the work he started. Leave people alone and let God do the work. Love them. Just love them. You know, there's one thing. Oh, there's one thing. Legalism. It's legalism. Look, you know, even Jesus, he looked at those Pharisees. Pharisees, by the way, serve God with all their heart. Did you know that? A Pharisee is someone who believes in God, who tries to do it God's way. And I always say that when you set your cap to really serving God, one of the biggest, the biggest trip-ups is a Pharisee spirit. It will come in there and make you say things like, boy, am I glad I'm not doing it like that sinner over there. Oh, I'm so much better than them. I mean, I follow the rules. I'm doing it right and they're doing it wrong. I mean, that is so out of order, you guys. Anytime you catch yourself judging other people, and especially other people's Christian walk, you're out of order. Now, are we supposed to go and tell people when we see a brother or sister sinning? Yes. We are to go to them in love and be sure your heart is right when you do it. Not to, well, I'm going to go show him how much I know. That's not how you do it. You go to them in love and you tell them, you know what, I... I see something that you're doing that I'm so worried for you because I worry it's going to draw you out from under God's protective umbrella. And this is what I see. And that's how you do it. You don't go up shaking your finger in their face, unless it's your grandchildren. Then you shake. <laughs> I shake my finger in my grandkids' face. You grandkids, you hear me out there? You better stay on that road, that straight, narrow path. Anyway, I hope that covered it. My God, I've talked four and a half minutes, and I feel like there's so much more to be saying, to be said on this. But you know what? Be kind to the frailties of others. God says, especially to those that are in, within the church. So you be kind to other people. Don't be, don't be sending people away instead of drawing them into the Christianity. 
bring them in. Let God's loving kindness work through you. That's what will draw them. That's what will show them the truth. I hope this answered your question. And until tomorrow, this is Velma Hagar with Steino telling you to go buy my book, Hidden Treasures and Secret Places, because I'm on the verge of becoming a number one bestseller, and I want your help. And I'll see you tomorrow. I bid you a blessed day.